I love when a good lighting comes through. Like, oh, uh, what? Oh, yes, honey. I want to be. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Take Off, Taxi, Twillet, Take Off! I'm just here to do a quick video on what's in my bag 2018, but the travel edition. What I use for my basic travel essentials when I am all across this crazy world that we have. And I was inspired by my best friend, the huge YouTube star. Her name is Sierra Honeydip. I'm going to insert her video right here. And she recently did a video of What's in My Bag 2018. And it was also a replicas edition. So getting designer bags, but the replica and affordable version. I don't know about you, but me and my best friends, whenever one gets one thing, we tell the other, and we tell them to try it, and they try it, and the other best friend tell so basically we inspire each other to spend a lot of money. Well this time Sierra inspired me to get a new bag and it is the replica version of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM bag and I recently got it when I had a layover in New York and I went to Chinatown. It was so much fun because you can find some great deals in Chinatown for a fraction of the cost. Fraction of cost. Fraction of a fraction of cost. I don't know about you, but I am bad and bougie on a budget. And I was just in New York. I was there shopping for my mom. She saw my Louis Vuitton bag and was like, oh, I want one. So, got her one for Christmas. And walking by, they had a cute YSL bag. So, I snatched that up again. When your friends are as girly as you are, <laughs> You spend so much money. But besides that, no, I just thought it was really cute. And um, another great travel bag that will be even smaller than my huge, huge, huge Louis Vuitton bag that I love. Enough jabbering and gabbering and dip, dip, dabbering. Um, without further ado, we're going to go on to this video. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe. Alrighty, so I'm about to show you what I keep in this beautiful... Louis Vuitton Never Full GM bag. Um, it is a replica. It is not the real version because the real version costs about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. And this beautiful, <sighs> beautiful replica only costs me eighty dollars. And I probably could have gotten it lower, but I was just kind of like in a hurry, so I was just like, you know what? 80 is a good ending point for when we started. When they say it's never full, it's never full. So if you're traveling and you don't want to pay for a check bag or whatever, or if it's a quick trip, just get this bag. You literally can put like two outfits in here, like toiletries, everything, entertainment. It's really never full but just remember the more you pack in it the heavier it will be if it is a replica the straps probably will rip faster and not look as cute so uh, just be mindful of that but other than that it's still a great bag alrighty so let's dig in my crazy bag and see what's in there one thing that I always make sure that's in my bag is my wallet yes it doesn't match the purse because I want to make sure that I can always look in and no matter what I could find it it is a Betsy Johnson wallet that I got from TJ Maxx, another great bargain. I wanted it this size because I want something that can keep my passport and my license and my credit cards and my work ID card and my apartment card to get in and just any other like things I need to keep that's really important all in one area. My notebook. I love keeping a notebook on me. I love writing down like quotes I may read somewhere or tips or write down my schedule or to-do list or different things like that or just crazy YouTube video ideas or places that I want to go or just different things like that. It does come with a small like little wallet if you want to make it one or a pouch but to me it just wasn't big enough to hold like important information or things like that so I just use it to store all of my headphones and my portable charger. But if you do want to use this as a wallet you can like I said it does come with the purse but the replica comes with it too, so 
don't think you're getting chipped out. Last night was mad real, sunglasses and Advil. Yes, I always keep summer leave with me. Never know when you get a headache, um, if you get a last minute trip to Vegas or to Miami or just anywhere that's gonna be fun, a lot of drinking and a lot of friends that like to turn up, it's gonna be your best friend, so why not keep it in your bag? Okay, y'all, this bag really is heavy. Like, it's so much stuff in here, and I really don't even have a lot, but it's like a lot. Next thing I keep in here is my lotion. I wear a vino because it's really thick and good for dry skin, especially if you travel a lot. And also, um, if you get dry skin like me, this is what I recommend sincerely. The Bath and Body Works lotion, so I can smell good on top of my oatmeal. Avino. Next, I have my Kanye Fruities Brilliantly Shine Glossing Spray. And I really don't think it glosses anything, but I just love the way it smells, so. Oh. Mm. Where's my pina colada? Hand sanitizer. Always need it. Like I said, to the travel aisle, grab it, dollar probably, and you're good to go. Okay, so since I travel to so many different climates, especially since I live in Miami, everywhere's not as sunny, as hot, and beautiful as Miami. So I always try to keep a pair of gloves in my bag. Oh, oh my gosh, how can I like not like talk about this? A sleep mask. A sleep mask. A sleep mask. A sleep mask. Yes, yes, yes. This is like the best thing that you can ever keep in your bag. When you're on a flight, especially a crowded flight during the holiday season, and you don't want to be bothered, slip this little bad boy on, put on your headphones, and you are good to go. This is like, uh, uh travel essential literally everybody needs to pack a sleep mask it will change your traveling life i always try to pack a couple of spare headphones um because you never know like one pair of headphones may not work or if you're sitting next to kids and one happens to start crying and if you have in-flight entertainment hand on one of these little bad boys i promise you you'll have the most peaceful flight you could ever think of of course you always need to have a pen i try to keep the pens of hotels that i end up like staying at so that way if i look at them um i can be like oh my gosh hey y'all like when i went to new york i said at the wellington it was a great hotel it's good location blah, blah blah so i try to do that especially like i said with hotels that i do like and then i also have a pen from the renaissance i don't even know which renaissance it was from but yeah packed a thing of vitamins these are multivitamins just a variety of things like I said to try to keep away from germs traveling like can't really be sick and call out of work so we'll try as many tricks and trays that you can do to stay healthy and that's why I pack these little bad boys in my bag hair essentials a comb Damien brush and a regular brush you need it always try to keep your hair fly especially like I said it's holiday season so it's a lot of cuties traveling right now so you never know Come across your husband, girl. I always gotta have my edge control next to me. I keep in my travel bag is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette, and it is Brown Sugar by ColourPop and Karuchi. I love, 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 love this palette. And it's so precious. I do have a makeup bag that I do keep makeup in, but the makeup that's like super important to me and I don't want it to get messed up or broken or anything like that, I keep it in my purse. Cause like I said, you may have an early flight and you don't want to do your face yet. You can run to the bathroom quick, doop, 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 and you're good to go. So why not keep it in your purse? My Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. It doesn't fit in my current um, traveling makeup bag. So, and I can't go anywhere without it. So I just keep it in my purse. It's not not really that important because I mean it's setting powder and it's like so loose and get everywhere so I don't want it to mess with my purse but it's still my baby foundation I okay so my foundation is the urban decay all-nighter waterproof long wear by urban decay it costs a pretty penny and the first bottle I ever bought it broke <laughs> I oh my god like um, but yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it in my purse. Keep my eyes on it at all times. And yeah, so I keep my foundation in my purse because it's precious and valuable and it needs to be near me. Makeup wipes in my travel bag. I don't always travel wearing makeup, but if I do like at night, once I get to the hotel and I'm tired, I'm done for the day, I'm Snapchatted everybody, I done FaceTimed everybody, you know, whatever, and I want to get good and ugly and go to sleep, I always want them handy and quick to get to. 
I uh, see now if you're my favorite makeup item I keep you close and handy and that is my every hue beauty glow and go I mean it has in the title glow and go so if I need to glow and I'm always on the go then duh Get the purse right here um we're gonna see what I keep in there thing is actually like really really cool we got this in training and I think it was like one of the best gifts they gave us um it's this little like miniature travel pouch it's from aviator um and I love it for when I get to the hotel and I switch from like my big travel bag my big carry-on purse to when I want to go sightseeing and I don't want to carry something so big because it's so heavy on my shoulder and things like that I switch to my smaller travel bag which I will show you later um, and I keep this just to keep it more convenient and more space in my purse but yeah it's just a little bitty like little wallet and I keep my hotel keys right here some cash right here um, my debit card here and my license right there what's really cool about this is that it has like um, identity protection so if someone was to come up like near me near my purse and try to scan you know some type of crazy way of scanning my information they can't it's like protected within this thing so definitely I like I said if we got this as a gift but go to Amazon or Google like wallet protection and get this because I promise you this is the best thing for traveling and protecting yourself from like identity fraud and stuff recently worked with this really really sweet um, flight attendant he's been flying for like a thousand years and he gave us an, a nice like flashlight so I'm like okay duh like what if a blackout happens or you know something crazy I am ready and protected what else is in my bag more makeup as you probably can tell uh, a Kylie lip kit lipstick and it is in the color of karma so I have this color it's really cute and then um, I also have my favorite color pop and it's um, more better so like I said you just you really honestly never know who you're gonna meet on your flight so always be and like I said, all that stuff fit up in here. Like those are like my little attach, you know. It's like really cute and spacious um, and really, really, really big. And like I said, you can prop like honestly fit everything in here. And if you're a mom, this is a great diaper bag too. True. And I love it. And my friend Corey makes fun of me all the time because I love this with all my heart. And he was like, just get a real one. But I'm like, no, like. I bargained and worked and just like I said just smells like a good sale and I said it before when I usually get to the hotel I switch to a smaller bag if I'm going out for dinner sightseeing or going out to eat or to a club or anything like that I want to carry such a huge purse and I don't want to pack a lot of purses because that make your bag even heavier so I just always have like a designated tote and I have one that I carry just for work and for one for my leisure um, traveling and this is my leisure traveling tote it's so cute you can thank Sierra Honeydip because like I said she showed me her YSL bag and I was like oh my god it's so cute and when I went to Chinatown they had this little cutie patootie <laughs> Yeah, you're done again. But it's okay because I'm do it to her with makeup. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a really, really cute. Um, it's a nice little tote. It's black. It has this little chain, um, like handle on it. And if you want to make it like longer or shorter, just slide it down like that and carry a cute little hand one like that. You just grab both of them like that. Or if you want to, just tuck the chains inside the purse and make it like a little. You know, but it's a carry purse. It's a really cute bag. Um, it's black and it had tassels hanging right here, but I didn't like the tassels, so it just kept like getting in the way. So I took them off, and I this is also a replica YSL bag. Like that's like me and Sierra's like seeing this year. It's just like try to get really good replica purses for like a fraction of the price. It has like a lot of space for like credit cards and IDs and things like that. And it also has like, a little zipper area. So if you want to um, put more things and stir it away. But yeah, Sierra told me it's called the chain. So I hope you enjoyed what's in my travel bag for 2018. Comment down below what you keep in your travel bag. What purses are you carrying in 2018 or this travel season? Or what replicas are you trying to get? I know there are websites where you can get duplicates from. But if you're like me and you want it in your possession right then and there, go to Chinatown. 
get some great bargain shopping. Like I said, always bargain. Never go for the first price. Never, 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 never. Thumbs up this video if you like it. And as always, love you. Thank you for watching. You are amazing. And I hope you have a great day, night, weekend. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Boxing Day, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's, what, St. Patrick's Day, Groundhog Day, whatever. Whenever you watch this video, thank you so much. And I hope you get all the good vibes that are coming your way. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again in my next video.